Morning YouTube, Trevor here, something or nothing, out today in my garden again, which can mean only one thing, I'm not allowed out, obviously. This is my great outdoors, but it also means another thing. I'm gonna do another tent comparison. If you're into hiking, you wanna get into wild camping, but you haven't got a lot of money, I'm looking at different types of budget tents, trying to help you decide. So today I've got two tents that I'm gonna have a look at. So give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll have a look at the new tents. Now this one sort of come about by accident actually. A lot of people have seen all my videos with the Cloud Up 2, and now I've had a lot of experience with that. And so I've got a lot of people asking me, what is the Cloud Up 1 like? I couldn't answer the question really, I'd never really had any experience. So I thought, well I'll buy the Cloud Up 1. I had a bit of funds left, managed to find a second hand one online for reasonable price. Uh, and also found another nature hike tent called the Vic one, which was reasonably priced as well. So today's comparison is gonna be the Nature Hike Cloud One compared with the Nature Hike Vic one. Bearing in mind, these aren't wild camps. I'm not out in the wild, I haven't tested them. This is just first look reviews. In a lovely fetching orange today, as you know, I usually give these away and compare the weights but unfortunately I've lost my scales. I seem to have misplaced them. Um, I've asked my wife if she knows where they are and she's just laughed at me and said, you never put things back, do you? So yeah, fair point. But what I can also do is look up online what it says the weights are for the two tents. Let's have a look at the Nature Hike Cloud Up one. Okay, so again, we got a mat inside the ground sheet that goes on underneath. And as we open it up, it's in pretty good nick for a second hand. It looks like it's never been used. We've got poles, we've got pegs, outer skin, inner skin. Now you can see already it's a lot smaller than the Cloud Up 2. It's a thinner tent, made out of the same material. It's good, there's an up and a down. You know which is up and down by the way that the, the clips sit. You want that clip up, so you put the pole in there, the peg there, and the clip up in the middle. So yeah, the frame is gonna go into there and there, and then one at the back, so it's a three-limbed structure. So much the same as the old, the old style cloud up two. Okay, so we've got the ground sheet down. Next, the limbs. It's all fairly lightweight. It's got the same cross member as the, the Cloud Up 2 that I've got. Right, I've got to clip that through both hoops now. It's gone through both. So again, as with the Cloud Up 2, you could probably put this up, the outer skin first, and then the inner. And then the outer clips into the inner. I'll clip it into the ground sheet, because that's the ground sheet that is pegged down. Peg them down to the ground sheet. We can adjust the straps afterwards. And then in the centers, you see you've got this loop. Attach this hook to this loop and then you pull that out and it keeps the skin separate at that point. Let's all look over there. We can adjust the loop, pull it tight. Same on this side. There we go. Okay, so there's the Cloud Up 1. You can see it's much more of a blade design for setting up on Dartmoor when the wind often changes direction, more likely to catch the wind, I should think. It was relatively harmless to put up. So let's have a look inside now. Obviously, it's a lot thinner than the Cloud Up 2, is the one-man version. 
but it doesn't actually look as bad. When I put the ground sheet down, I thought that is considerably thinner, but when you actually look in here, it's not actually too bad. It's wider down the front. It sort of flaps up here, look. See that? Lifting up at the sides. Whether there's still some adjustments I can make. There's no pocket in here. There's a hanger up here, so you've still got your little hook that you can hang a light up on. But yeah, there's no internal pockets. Not that they're the be all and end all anyway. I never use them. But maybe I'll get out my, my new roll mat in a minute and see if that can fit in here. What would be interesting is to see what difference the weights are, because I know the cloud up too, you have a lot more room and it's nice to have that, that space when you're out and you can get your stuff out and you can have your bed one side and your gear the other side and you can shuffle about and sort things out. So if there's not much difference in the weight, you'd probably be better off having the cloud up too anyway. Plus that's the free, that's the four limb design so it's a bit more structure there. And it's got more places around it where you can pin off, which is making me believe that this is the, the Mark I version. With the Cloud Up 2, you've got places you can attach extra guidelines here and off of the back, even though you could use these as extra support. One there, and then two of them, two at the front. Like on the, the Cloud Up 2, you've got this little window, ventilation window with the Sort of with the solid shaft there, keep it open on the front of the tent on this one. But yeah, I think this is the, an older design. So whether you can get the new four limbed cloud up one remains to be seen. We'll have a look. Okay, so it does feel a really good material that the tents are made of. I must say that for the nature hike. I've been happy with mine. I've never done any seam sealing on them whether I should at some point, probably, but they've never leaked. But again, this tent here, it's a good quality. So let's tuck these away over here. I've tucked the doors out of the way. Let's see if I can get my roll mat in. You might have seen recently, I've bought the new OEX Evolution Pro XL. So it's an XL size. So it is a big, a big mat, but I wanted something that would do the job of the two roll mats I was doing and it was big enough that I wasn't going to fall off of it. So it's quite a considerable size, it doubles up, it's nice and long. So let's just open it up. Oh yeah, yeah that's gone in there just fine. Doesn't leave a lot of room either side for your gear, but then it does have a great big um, sort of front canopy here. As you can see it comes out quite far so when that's done up you could easily fit your bag in the front if you wanted. So yeah it's not a bad little one-man tent. Quite happy with that. So the second tent I'm looking at today is the Vic One. Another Nature Hike product. It's the same grey colour as my original Cloud Up tent which I still have by the way. I must say it feels a lot lighter than the Cloud Up 2 did. There's barely any weight to that. I wish I had my scales with me, but I haven't. I wonder if there's a, a ground sheet in this one. I've got a feeling there's not going to be, but we'll have a look. Let's get in. See how this goes up. Looking at the instructions, it's four limbed. It's got a rain fly, carry bag, guy line, stakes. So there's no ground sheet in there from the instructions. And no second skin either by the looks of it. Seems to be just one piece. So that's why it's lighter. It's a one skin tent, all attached together. You've got the bottom, which is the thinner material. So chance of puncturing. So there is that, but then you can watch where you pitch. It's going to be fairly easy to put up, I should think. So that's the four corners pegged out. We've got side to peg. Pull in fairly tight for a minute. 
we'll have more of an idea in a second once we start getting the frame on. Is there a front and a back to this? So it's got a cross member, much like the uh, the Star River 2 that I own. Let's see if this is right. Hook that in there. Take that in there. Oh yeah, these are colour coded. You can tell the front and the back because there's grey holes for the grey ends to peg into. And then this end at the back, there's an orange end into an orange hole. Okay, I can see now as well, there's a door on the side. I was just assuming it was a front entrance, like the cloud up, but alas, it is not. Bending fair to get that in there. Seems alright. It is all. There's a lot of pressure there. But it's pulling it drum tight. Tighter than I get my cloud up. So, uh, there we go. That's it. Up. It's a peculiar shape. Looks like a uh, spider's nest or something, doesn't it? And you can see the bend on these poles. Probably putting a lot of tension on here. Let's have a look, see what it's like inside. Obviously really quick to go up, because there's no inner and outer skin. Let's see, it's a double zip, so. It's two doors. So it's got twin side doors, which is always handy. It's very much like the lantern in that respect. And not having the dual skins, not a lot of mesh here. Makes you wonder if this would condensate quite a bit. So yeah, it's all the, you know, that's an external skin which is acting as your internal so I'd imagine there is the chance of condensation but what we have here you see it's the poles so you can open the windows like that push it up and it velcros there somehow not the best not the best method to be honest it's a bit of a fiddle but then I am just doing it one-handed at the moment. It keeps posh, popping back through. Let me have a play with that a minute. Now, I managed to get that one to stay, but I could reach around the door, like so, and use my other hand outside to help pull it up, to stick it. This side is a bit different because I've just noticed that this isn't a door. It's just an opening and a mesh area so that side is just mesh for breathing I suppose you know maybe there will be some airflow and not so much condensation but it sort of makes that side redundant you'd think they just as well make a another doorway there but anyway yeah to put this pit here up you need two men which is pointless for a one-man tent I should think you need someone on the outside to pull it up while you stick it. It's just flapping about there. But unfortunately you couldn't get this side to stay up. <laughs> oh, it's out now. It's a bit of a... Hmm, just wedge it there. I can't see that stay in there though, once the wind gets up. So it's quite a clever design, I suppose, that you've only got the one skin sewn with like the internal door bits here so you've got a bit of a canopy area 
to keep, I'm saying canopy, it's not the word, I know it's not the word, I've forgotten the word. But so you've got a bit of an area, keep your bag and that in. Seems a lot smaller in here than the, the cloud up one. But we do have the uh, little flappy pocket. So you can put your stuff in, keep it safe, keep it secret, keep it safe. Let me have a go now, go and get my uh, roll mat. See if I can fit the XL roll mat into this tent. It does, it just about fits. Not a lot of room either side or above or below. If you've got a small ruck, rucksack, this is a lot lighter option. It'd be okay in the summer, I should think. For fair weather, that was really easy to put up. I was quite happy with how quick it went up. Quite an interesting tent. It'd be interesting to see it out on the trail one day once we're allowed back out. So there we go. There's me two one-man tents. Lighter, quicker, but the real test will be seeing how it fares in the weather against the wind and the rain and even the heat. See if it condensates and gets wet inside. So like I said, it's all a bit tight. Whether this is more likely to buckle and break in any weather. Uh, the cloud up one it's a bit bigger, but then is it worth just having the cloud up too for that little extra size and possibly a little difference on the weight? So there we go, that was a look at those two tents. So uh, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. Hope that's answered some questions about the cloud up one to all those people who sort of regularly comment and ask is one of my most asked questions I think could you recommend the cloud up one but I'd say it looks fairly good looks fairly robust could do with a few more points to stick guides off but perhaps you just as well take the cloud up too just for that extra size other things I noticed having just packed this away which I forgot to film um, there was plenty of extra guidelines in there and extra pegs so yeah you shouldn't struggle that there but getting it back into that bag was a pain in the ass actually um, more so than the cloud up too so I don't know whether they've made a smaller bag but it's not that much smaller of a tent so yeah it was a pain to get that back into its bag Okay, so I just packed away the Vic 1 and um, it's quick to pack away as it was to set up, so didn't take any time at all.